As I continue to work in the diversity, equity, and inclusion space, I am always reminded how language matters. Words shape our future, our reality, how we approach a project, how we see the people on our team, how we treat people even subconsciously because we're using specific types of language. I encourage you to take an inventory of the language you use. How inclusive is it? How many times are you putting the person first, honoring pronouns, being inclusive, not using gendered language and honoring one identity over another? How inclusive is your language? For example, avoid using the word diverse as a way to describe someone. When we use that word, we're basically saying that there's something that is normal and meets the standard and everything outside of that is different or diverse. Now don't get me wrong, diverse and diversity is needed. Um, it's how we measure numbers, but diversity, yes, is more about measuring numbers and statistics and not about the person. So remember, keep the person first in mind. Here are a few things that you can do if you work at a company where diversity, equity, and inclusion is really important. Number one, make sure you review social media and the website for any words that um, are not inclusive and favor one identity over another. This could be as simple as just making sure all uh, descriptions are gender neutral and not favoring male dominance. Also create a list of words that are just forbidden with your company. This could be as something as simple as people using the word very casually, such as crazy or they're bipolar or something like that. That's discriminatory language. It is not inclusive um, and it, it minimizes people who may be really struggling with mental disorders. That's just an example, but there are words that we casually use often that are really offensive and are not um, offering dignity and respect to others. Finally, a quick, easy way to just encourage inclusive language in your workplace is to have the top leadership um, making sure that they're in fact using inclusive language. Encourage pronouns when people introduce themselves in meetings or when you come up on your Zoom or your Microsoft Teams meetings, tell people to put their pronouns in. These are small ways to encourage inclusive language and to let your team and your company know that you're serious about respecting the dignity of others. And also just in other ways, there are a lot of times in meetings, things are said that are inappropriate, teaching leaders how to correct that language right away. And then more than anything, make, making sure you have allies within your organization that are also equipped to help and course correct language that may be going down the wrong road. So I hope this helps and just remember words matter.